Okay, guys. So in our last class, we learned how to design our login page, which is what we see here. Okay. So now in this class, we are going to be learning how to design our registration page. Okay. And this is what our registration page looks like. All right. It's quite similar to the login page. It's just an addition of extra few um, text input layouts for full name and for phone. Okay. So in this class, we are going to be designing this. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So the first thing we need to do is to add a new layout file. We'll call it register. New item. Call it register. Okay, so shorthand on how to, you know, go fast with this. All right. We can just go ahead and copy our XML for our logins they are roughly the same thing in this way it saves us it saves us a lot of time and help us move faster I do this all the time so guys I suggest you do it sometimes it makes you go faster since they are roughly the same the first thing we need to do is to increase the layout weight for the downside of the page we can change this to six okay so that we'll be able to contain more items. So after doing that, we may want to reduce the size of our circle image. We can reduce this to 140 by 120. All right. So the next thing we we'll probably want to do will be to copy this and paste it here. And paste another one. So we now have four text input layer. So the next thing we need to do is to change the attributes. All right. First of all, we need to rename this to to full name text. Full name text, and we need to change the hint to full name. We need to change this to test person name. So that's that. So the next one we need to do is we need to change this to phone test. Phone test. And we need to change the hint to phone because we need we need our writers to provide their phone numbers, okay? So the input type need to be phone. Phone. So every other thing kind of remains the same, all right? So as you can see, every other thing checks out, all right? We have email and we have password already because we copied it from the other from a login page so we need to change the name of this button we need to change it to register the register button and we need to change the text here to register okay and as you can see we are we are done with that and that was pretty fast all right below id register so the next thing we need to do will be to add a new activity called register activity all right which we host our layout file all right so let's just go ahead and add that new item activity registration activity okay so we're gonna change the level as usual a string slash app name we're gonna set the team right style slash uber team and we we'll probably might need to make this the main launcher so that we could just see it at once. 
true. Remember, we, when we set this to true, we need to go into a lo login activity and set it to false. Okay, head it back. The next thing we need to do is change this to app compact activity, app compact activity. So to resolve it, we bring in we bring in Android support library. We bring in Android support library. So the next thing we need to do is to set content view. This is where we define our layout. We have resource dot layout dot register. So guys, this is just all we need to do. So we need to run it on our emulator to ensure that everything is fine, to ensure that everything works just the way we expected. So our build is completing. Bam. So as you can see, we have our registration page. It's just exactly as we want it. So now what I'm going to do next is to use this splash screen instead of just allowing the, the registration activity to come, on, to come up on its own. So let's just use the splash screen so that everything will be nice instead of having the white um, screen show up. All right. So we just name this force and we go into a splash activity. In our splash activity, that's where we'll be using to set what page loads. Okay. So to do that, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna type registration activity here. Okay. So I have to set this. Okay, it's already set to main launcher. All right. So let's go. Okay, build it again. There are some few errors here, so here and there. So we just fix that. So app is deploying. Here we go, ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Okay, so we now have our splash screen. So as soon as the app co completes, you know, starting up, it will load our registration activity. So we'll see that in a moment. Bam. So guys, we now have our registration activity. So this is just how to, you know, design our registration page. And I'm so glad we've done that. So guys, see you in the next class.